How to Bypass Enterprise Enrollment on Chromebox. In this video, I will share to you how I managed to bypass Enterprise Enrolled Chromebox, in this case the Model CN60. Important disclaimer, do this at your own risk, I will not be held liable to all the damages upon following this video. Please do some research as the outcome may not be the same to you. It was a time when I bought a Chromebox Model CN60 at eBay, I immediately plugged it to a monitor. To my surprise, I can't get past the login screen because the device is under enterprise enrollment. I tried to enable the developer mode on it but it says the developer mode is disabled by administrator. I tried to Google to get the fix but somehow those are for Chromebooks not Chromebox. That's when I sent an email to the awesome man named Matt DeVillier to get his professional advice. Here's what he exactly says in the email. So basically, the fix is to flash the BIOS with a firmware by following the instructions on this website, https colon slash slash wiki dot dot tech slash unbreaking. Please take a time to read all the instructions on the wiki site. You can follow the hardware tools recommendations on the wiki site, but mine I choose this as my CH341 USB programmer. I bought this on Amazon. The only thing I deviate from the instructions is the environment to use on flashing the firmware. In the wiki site, it was instructed to use Linux OS but I tried to flash it using Windows 10. The software is posted in the description. When I booted the device again, the enterprise enrollment was gone. But, there's an error showing up. It says something like GBB flag is non-zero. Since the BIOS was already flashed and the developer mode can now be enabled, I only just need to enable the developer mode and run Macromabox script. For more details please visit https colon slash slash mrchromabox.tech slash hash fw script. Note, before running Macromabox utility script, please disable the right protect on the device. Please visit this page, https colon slash slash kodi dot wiki slash view slash archive colon chromabox hash disable underscore firmware underscore right underscore protect. Once you are on the script, I just selected number 2 restore stock firmware, and when I rebooted the device, the error is gone and chromebox is now working as normal chromabox without the dreaded enterprise enrollment. Hope you enjoy the video, thank you for watching.